Ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've been waiting for. This guy is an epitome of hard work, talent, and intelligence. Shall we give him a standing ovation? Put your hands together. Let's welcome the man of the moment. OB Amposa. Ladies and gentlemen. All hands on deck. If she says, choke me, daddy, choke me, doesn't mean all hands on neck. Know your limitations. GH Comedy has no limitations. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. The long awaited, well debated show. This is lit. Presenting the showman, the verbal masked man. The only genie found in a beer bottle. Make a wish. Sarcastic illustrator. Giggle master without a bladder. He can still make you pee yourself with water. He tickles not only your ears, but your sense of reasoning. You know these issues, you've seen them cooking, he's the seasoning. Comedy so ideal like milk with two eyes, so one eye is drizzling. Doctor by profession, comedian by obsession. Doctor by profession, Yang Jimmy is the suggestion. Doctor by profession, I leave the rest to the congregation. A yekakra, who said Ghanaian comedians aren't funny. Moma ne praye non kopra. A man with a tongue like a kokontakra enters your ears, comes out with sense. What's a cra? Master comic mixer. He serves you comic cocktails after drinking a pissy story. Quantum party, monster party. This man has no size, the God has no Christ. We brought tickets here. Now, Obi and Ponsan, 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 Obi and Ponsan. Obi and Ponsa, 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 Chasso, chasso. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for yourself. Hey. That was quite an uh, entry, right? Please give it up for me again. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys really showed up. I'm blown away, you guys. Oh my goodness. Stop it, you are making me blush. <laughs> but thank you all for coming out. My name is Obi Amponsan. It's been a wonderful event, right? Give it up for GH Comedy. This is the future. Ladies and gentlemen, jump aboard before we go. All right? And give it up for the legend, Fritz Buffo. Hey. My goodness. When, while we were planning this show, we needed him to send us his picture for the, the flyer. And uh, he sent us a picture of him and somebody standing beside him. <laughs> and the caption was, crop him out. <laughs> uh, yeah, uncle, we will try and crop him. <laughs> but I'm glad to be here, ladies and gentlemen. This is such an honor. Quickly, let's go into the details. Please buckle up. No sensitivity here. <laughs> because I'm going to talk a lot of shit. <laughs> All right? Are we ready? Yeah. Let's do this. Okay, so let's talk about the elephant in the room. No MPP. No MPP. <laughs> MPP are getting. They are the MPP. <laughs> they said Nanado was <laughs> driving one day in town, right? He was at the back seat, you know, doing something on his phone trying to type something, you know, he decided to look around Ghana. And then, you see that thing where you look at something and you have to look at it twice? He was typing, and then his eyes fell on the fuel prices. <laughs> he was typing, he said, <laughs> and then he shouted, hey! Stay me, stay on me. And then he called Baumia. He said, Baumia, near fu and a drill, no. Baumia said, me the jam and me a Ghana card. 
And then, and then they are taxing our Momo. Momo! Who ever thought they would tax Momo? Hmm. Let me tell you, this is what I think happened during the, I mean, the thoughts that happened for this Momo taxation. So it was a cabinet meeting. Nanadu was seated. Baumia was there. Ofuriata was there. And then Sarkodie was there. It's my story. I put him wherever I want, okay? And then Anna says, Hey, any man go you? Sarko, I want to say. Sarko, this is Nana, it's a beautiful, brand new day. Now, where did you see my sending your coupon WhatsApp or every reply Tuesday? Now, where did you see my sending your coupon WhatsApp or every reply Tuesday? Now, where did you see my sending your all of a sudden, Kennedy Japan barge into the meeting. Hey! Baumia! Mi momo no way! Nanado was like, Osi momo! Yen taxi momo! Kennedy Japan was like, Oko taxi momo! No! And so momo be being returned. Now I go going away. Osi, oh, the traffic more, Kasua two boots. Nanado said, Two boots, two boots. And he ate two boots now. Now you taxi on Mumu. You And then he said, Sako, the other one was in Anatu Asu. It's a beautiful brand new day. Hey! Thank you, thank you, DJ. Shark. My stuff, oh. And is it, there are so many people here, right? It's all two corner around. And then my banana here around. I think you guys, you are not. And they say, I don't know, I don't know. You have English. That's it. You have English, that's it. Charlie, you know the point. See, the job that you can't do, slave queens are doing it for you. Right? To get slave queen for the interior minister, or what, what's he? What, what's that? To model in their pajamas. You remember? The slave queen said, raise your leg, said, hey. He said, turn around, said, hey. He said, hug me, give me a virtual. I said, my hug you. <laughs> hey, national security boss. I said, wow, it is happening. Slave queens, me, recently I just heard of one called Sewa Brony. Really? Sewa Brony, I didn't believe it because, oh man, nah. I don't think Nanado has a side chick. <laughs> I can't believe it because I see him bigging up beautiful Rebecca on TV. And to my beautiful Rebecca, I say, Anana, how do you, Papa? <laughs> say, Anana. <"Nanana." laughs> I don't believe it. Me, I don't believe it. But let's say I believe it. <laughs> let's imagine I believe Nanado has a side chick. Because, look, side chicks do the things that main chicks don't do. And this side chick has, a, it's a long distance relationship. Long distance relationships is send me picture I miss you. I wish you were here and Chow Chow sent me. That's it. Yo, yo, yo. I, I told you to buckle up. It's like, that's it. That's it. Because you miss her. And so I'm just imagining that moment where they decided to trade pictures. This is a terrible joke, but I have to finish it. As I've started, I've finished. So, you know, they missed each other and said, let's trade pictures. Naked pictures. So I sent his. Adudi sent his. <laughs> but when Adudi sent it, Sewa had not downloaded. And so he called her and said, Bruni. Sewa Bruni. Anawe. So Nanana Mijaru, sir. My chummy bear must send you a I don't know who downloaded it. Yeah. <laughs> I said, Nana, what's that name? And then my uncle ran. I said, hey, Nana. Aye. I said, Nana, I downloaded it and downloaded it. I said, Aye. Hey, Ghana, Bema. You ain't downloaded it. I just said, we install it. Buckle up, buckle up. <laughs> Ah. 
No, no, it's okay. No more MP. Ah, but now, and this is for us to make come home and say, "Well, make come be awesome." Hey, in Dumba, make come. But in Dumu, let's leave our question. He suffered enough, you know, from GM Bank to say. From bank to savings is tough, so let's leave in doom out of this. But let's talk about the real elephant in the room. That's the LGBTQIAKNUSTUDSUCCUPSCGPRTU of TUC. <laughs> let's talk about the alphabetical people. Please don't film me. Don't film me. <laughs> this is not supposed to go out. Let's have an intimate session, okay? If this goes out, my career is over. You know. Where is Captain Smart? You know. Okay. Let's talk about them. People ask me, Obi, what's your opinion on the LGBTQIAKNUS plus plus plus? I said, hmm, I don't have an opinion. I'm just living for the drama. As a comedian, I see the arguments going back and forth, and I'm like happy, you know, because who would have thought? If anybody had told me there would be a time in Ghana that the word trumu trumu <laughs> would be used so loosely on radio and TV, I wouldn't have believed it. The word trumu trumu. You wake up in the morning, tune your radio, 4 a.m., you want to listen to some inspirational messages and some preaching. There are some two pastors back who say, Eradie, Eradie, me I'm like, what? Chumu at 4 a.m. What should I expect at 9 p.m.? And that's the end there. Political shows. Uncle Alote, what do you think about the Chumu? Chumu, Chumu, for the words you want Chumu. Want Chumu, you best see. Ayo. What's with this Chumu everywhere? Political shows, entertainment shows, all Chumulizing. What? And is it just me or anything Ghanaians hate? We double it. Berry, berry. Jiba, jiba. Kaka, re, re. Enkrosa, unkrosa. Chumu, chumu. But why chumu, chumu? Bridget, can we stick to one chumu? Why do you have to double the chumus? Because I see, I hear Trumu Trumu and I'm like, I picture one Trumu here, another Trumu here, and they're just... <laughs> Apparently, that's not how they do it in both. But I feel like they... <laughs> see, Ghanaians can be so homophobic to a point that in expressing our angst against gays, we become like them. Have you realized it? Even if you are an activist and you're not part of gay people, they put you in that circle. Like one day I was listening to Captain Smart. He said, Chumu Chumu Fuan! I'm a poor mopa! I'm a pet, we're a good baby! I'm fine, I'm a dinner to my ass! Captain, what's up there? I'm a dinner to my ass! I'm a grown out of the house! I'm just living for the drama, I told you. Because I look at the cultural shock happening. And I imagine when they legalize this. Because I am a Seventh-day Adventist. I'm a proud Seventh-day Adventist. Young Koda. Hey, my people are here, they support me. Yo, make some noise. SDF for ADN. Any SDF are the same? That's right. And so I'm, I'm Adventist, you know. And usually when we get uh, a guest pastor, he comes and they say, oh, also for also for and they preach am I in there? Also for comes, takes the mic, he says, young kodo, you respond, biakuye. He says, in yina suwa, we say, Christo done in shaye. Then he says, maranata, maranata, maranata. Then we all start to say, God, come, oh Lord. And he goes, I didn't come here alone. I came here with my beautiful wife, Auntie Hannah. Stand, let's say amen. Auntie Hannah stands. You will say amen. I'm just imagining. When it's legalized, it comes. Young Kodo. Ininaso. Maranatha. 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 
And your man quotes in Ambai. I'm on a wife. I bet who? I bet who? So I now want to hear me, can say, Mom. The worst part will be when he says, I bet you hear me. No, but let's not talk about them. I mean, I'm living for the drama and I'm enjoying it. What really affected me most was COVID. And all of us here may, in one way or another, have I mean, we're affected by COVID. Right? It took COVID, but I made a few observations and we are going to share them together. I know you made them, maybe you didn't just pay attention to them. The first observation I made was that white people have their priorities and black people have our priorities. I was watching the news. You know, during the impending lockdown, you know, there was a stampede in malls. People were going to buy food. Black people were going to buy food. Stock, my color, went. So many people were trying to stock food. And then white people were busy stocking toilet paper. <laughs> you remember? Yeah. Obonu was reporting shortage in food in Ghana. CNN was reporting shortage in toilet paper. We were so starving to death. We were scared that we would starve, so we needed food. They were so full. Their concern was how to wipe their shit. You see, levels. Because no black man has ever thought of how to wipe his shit. Like, on our scales of preferences, it's food, food, eat food, sex, go to work, no vacation, food, food, no vacation again, eat, sex, food, food. Okay, I need to shit. Toilet paper. If I'm lying, have you ever been in the situation after taking a good shit? Yeah? After taking a good shit, that is when you realize, hmm, say paper, NASA. <laughs> and then you're left with just that brown thing. You know, the brown thing that the white covers. And you have an interaction with it. Hey, and then they mean, wow. Mean to me, if I'm a two billion PNT, I just say, I just am a fool. <laughs> me fool, not me the cheat. <laughs> Those laughing, I'm not for with Everybody. <laughs> and sometimes uh, we used to use maize cups. You remember? Brodia. And when things got worse, you just open your butt cheeks and hug a pillar. <laughs> well, that's not the worst. The worst is when you look around and there's no tissue. And you have to use an old. Ah, you can relate, eh? I also realized during this COVID season that <laughs> some jobs were important. You remember? They call some jobs essential workers. Essential. I looked up the word essential. The word essential actually means absolutely necessary. Absolutely necessary. Which means if you are not essential, your job was absolutely necessary unnecessary. In other words, if your job could be done on Zoom, you are useless. The nation can function without you. And some jobs are really essential. Think about it. Agriculture, we need to eat. Health. Health. Consultation. I'm an optometrist. We need patient care. You know, detailed. You have to attend to the patient and know what's wrong. Because imagine if Health workers were working on Zoom. <laughs> and your wife had a, a, a Zoom appointment with her gynecologist. <laughs> oh, baby, fear your wife will be splayed out in front of her laptop. And then there's another man on the other end wrapping gloves. He's like, mm, what do we have here? He's wrapping gloves. Mm, he's zooming your wife. By mm. Your wife's like, is it okay? He said, be any when you can get it. You slap that shit out of your wife and the laptop, right? That is why you had essential workers. Also, I realized that during this COVID season, we have never paid so much attention to people's recovery, right? People recover and they tell us their stories. We read every detail because we wanted to be sure whether we had COVID or not. I remember, I think he recovered and he posted. 
Before the COVID season, before he had it, he was going to work alone. Nobody was sitting in his car. Nobody was eating with him. He's like, only Obiani did that. But, but, as, <laughs> and, then he continued, and then when he finally had it, you know, he had to, he, he couldn't stay with the family. He had to stay in the boys' quarters. I said, hmm, he's right. You have boys' quarters. <laughs> Multimedia is paying well, huh? Because I know another line of Plaza Firm. He ain't shit. <laughs> and we all listening. And so finally we realized that the main you know, symptom of COVID was a dry cough. Uh, you couldn't smell and you couldn't taste. I said, hmm. Now a friend of mine on Facebook, a lot of you know her, H.E. Olga, she made a post. And this is how she, she actually diagnosed herself of COVID to see that she didn't have it. She cooked beans. And then she ate it. And then it tasted good. Then she cooked egg. She ate it. It tasted good. Then she added cabbage. Ate it. It tasted good. Now you may not be the smartest kid from Keta Senior High. But you know that when you combine these three foods, there is an essential combustion in your stomach. Which has a resultant effect of fat. And so while she was walking around in her house during the lockdown, she was just farting. Hey, bon, I don't have COVID. <laughs> the worst was her family were also angry. That was that was smart, right? <laughs> I knew COVID was serious, and we are going to talk about this personally. I knew COVID was serious, eh? Hmm. So Chris, I know COVID was serious when ISIS. Do you know ISIS? The terrorist group called ISIS. They issued a press statement for their fellow terrorists to stay home. You know how tough it is? Maybe you don't know ISIS. The, ter- the people who are supposed to die for a living Say, okay, we are not going to die of this shit. We will stay in our fucking homes. We are not going anywhere. Do you know how t- difficult it is for a suicide bomber to work from home? <laughs> for a suicide bomber to work on Zoom? Collateral damage, you and your family. And they had to, and then, and then, mm. then it's serious. Because the whole COVID restrictions were against terrorism. Because you, you, you need a cluster of people around you to blast yourself. Now you want to blast yourself, you are doing social distance, you are like, yo, I have a job to do here, can you come closer, let me blast myself. By the mention of terrorists, let's, let's think, a, let's think a little. At the mention of terrorists, Andy, what comes into your mind? Like, what name? Don't mention it too. <laughs> what kind of name comes into your mind? Uh-huh, that one. You know, like, we have this programming that anytime you hear terrorism, you're associated with Muslims. But it's not true. It's not true. Muslim, not all Muslims are terrorists. And not all terrorists are Muslims. But. <laughs> For people to take you seriously, you have to wear jalabia. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you have to get a jalabia to represent the trade. It's just like you can't be a slave queen in Kaaba on GTV. It won't work. You know, they have an attire, a prescribed attire. But we can't have Christian terrorists. We can't. Because Christians, they waste too much time. Like a Christian terrorist enters the church hall ready to blast himself. Say, <laughs> But that is not to say we don't have Christian terrorists. We do. We don't call them terrorists. Call them Jehovah Witnesses. Those motherfuckers can terrorize your life to accept Christ. And they were the worst affected people during this COVID season. You know when you are so addicted to something, right? And suddenly they win you off. It becomes painful. 
like cocaine artists, when you take cocaine off them, as, uh, like, eh, hey, but for no. <laughs> you know, suddenly when you take it off them, they start having withdrawal symptoms. And that's what happened to Jehovah Witnesses. Out of nowhere, they say, stay home. You say, hey, right there. <laughs> we are walking home like, hey, I said, we could preach it. I want to tell somebody about Jehovah. Hey. They will look over their walls, hey, and they goofy hey. And the market will hold right there. But some culture awake, awake him. You know the funny thing about this whole thing? They are Jehovah Witnesses here. And they are laughing, but they don't laugh. Hey, yes, you. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> oh, Jehovah's Witnesses are beautiful. They are, I love them. I love them. You know, during this trot trot strike, there's one woman. Mommy affects us. They are affecting you. I didn't make Jehovah. Hey, my nantia, nantia, nantia. My chin 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 chin. Still, we are number one. See? I love Jehovah's Witnesses. But I just hate how Ghanaians treat them. We treat them like tankers. You remember tankers? <laughs> tankers, let me explain for you Indomie babies who don't know tankers. Tankers is a short form for town council. Back in the day when systems were working, when the law of Ghana was very effective, tankers, they will come to your house, they call them a summon, summon for. They come and then if you're unclean, they'll summon you to the court. And you pay a fine or you go to jail. And so when unclean people see them, they shout, Yeah! Tankers won it! Boom! And that's the same thing we do to Jehovah's Witnesses. Tankers won it! Boom! The whole house, Mr. Mayakos, the country, and the country, and the And they are relentless. They come. You know, it's usually the man with the manifest heart. He's in the manifest heart. And there's a woman holding the bag. And the little terrorists they are training. <laughs> the future. And then they come, they are relentless. They come. And then they knock your door. My mom will be like, if you say, hey, you can't get a Or say, you can't get a car. You radio. Oh, my Lord, Jehovah's Witnesses, God bless them. That zeal they used to propagate the gospel is beautiful. How are you enjoying my forehead? You love my forehead? Is it okay? I don't know what it is with Ghanaian barbers. They feel like, like your new baba always wants to insult the old baba. Right? Like, hey, now I'm going you with Yo, nyami am going dada, you with you. The Lord is my Baba. I, I mean, I'm imagining if it happens the same way with like, you know, ladies also do that, right? Like when you get a new uh, hairdresser, says, hey, back when they're not say with you, Papa. <laughs> it's the same with exes. Like when you go into a new relationship, <laughs> the new girlfriend picks your penis and, hmm, now when I need it, do we? Well, hold you, Papa. What I have to let say? My memoir. <laughs> Are you having fun? So I actually named this special. I named this special popular but broke. Because that's my situation, man. You know, I'm not like popular, popular. But I did. I'm not like, you know, I'm not like Van Vicar popular. I'm not like Dumelo Poplar. I'm like Daddy Opanka Poplar. <laughs> like I did. People will see me and say, oh, Obi Neko, but won't try picture that. You know, like Kenata, they say, hey, Kenata, oh my God, Kenata. Oh, people will be fainting for Kenata. I'll go up here soon. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. 
Lo vijana kwa zo. Eh, aya kofi wa. Ente zo mami show bie. So I'm um, that, you know, but Ghanaians have a way they appreciate you. Oh my goodness, and it's terrible. Like they meet you in church, you know, you're driving, somebody will be driving, you will be driving your, I mean, I have a Hyundai Elantra, which I love, you know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> And then after this show, maybe I'll upgrade, you know? <laughs> and they'll see you, me, oh, me always, my windows are down. No time for air condition. Hmm. 6.9. Now we buy fuel with aggression. So mommy made a five zero. Read my lips. Five zero. Only now we say zero. Yeah, back ha. People say, oh, me, I always buy my fuel from go and you total. Go and you total. Oh, I also oh, me book me book a crab yeah, so bad now, but not much. Run that far. So, I just hate how Ghanaians appreciate you in church or in traffic. They pull out, they say, Hey, Obi, where Jimmy Papa? <laughs> and you have to, that's the, uh, that's the honest way of expressing, Hey, where Jimmy Papa? And you're like, Oh, Nyame no Dema. On one answer, no Oji. The first time, Nyame. You know, I didn't think I was broke, sincerely. Until I encountered sec certain circumstances, you know, during the COVID time, this rich man billed me to perform. Now, I'm not supposed to mention his name because we signed an NDA and all that, you know, not to use him for a job. Yeah, so his name is Cheddar. <laughs> I couldn't help it. It's, it's necessary for the joke. Otherwise, you won't get it, okay? Yeah, so Cheddar. <laughs> and Cheddar is wealthy. You know, you can tell a person is wealthy by what they do. They buy a car and they don't drive it. <laughs> they hire a self-contained for it and then put air condition on the car. And so I was, I, was, I was researching about Cheddar and I came across a video of his. And this situation made me understand my brokenness. He bought a house and a car for his wife as a surprise. So the wife was blindfolded. You, you saw that video? And then they walk into the house, the compound. And he takes off the blindfold and says, baby, Happy birthday. I bought you a car and a mansion. And then the woman went like, Aww, thank you. <laughs> you, are, you are waiting for more, right? That's it. He said, Aww, thank you. For a house and a mansion. Give it to one of the girls here. Come here, mini, mini, oh, nami, you are here. Sabi, mini, mini, make out, can see, yeah. And so I was pissed. I, I wanted somebody to tell this story to, like, yo, Charlie, what's up? Why, why, the, why the woman no show so much? So I went to my girl. I said, yeah. <laughs> Can you believe what I just saw? He said, yeah. So, ah, Cheddar bought a house and a car for his wife. And all she could say was, oh, thank you. And she said, oh, that is normal. I said, if you are what? He said, it's normal. It's just like you surprising me on my birthday with kinky. <laughs> Is that my standard, if you are? Kinky, a uh, mash kinky, and uh, with fish or no fish. You couldn't raise me to maybe can piss or some kinky. That was when I knew I was broke. And our circumstances leading to that event, I pull up in the event, man, in my Elantra. And I'm trying to... <laughs> There are big cars parked. I'm trying to find my way to fit between one of those cars. I'm trying to back in my car. I heard, hey, Uber. I said, hi. Man, hey, Uber. That's good. I said, hey, Uber. I said, me, no, Uber. You know, see, when you drive a small car, it's tough for like when you pull up at the mall, people will be like, And then you see me when I knock on your window, boss, and you're wah. And see ya, Mr. Obama. 
I said, no, but I said, oh, sorry, sorry. Me, I'm in the MC for the verse. Oh, sorry, sorry. Go. I tried packing. He said, hmm. So I got to the day with my teeth, the feet. He said, yeah. <laughs> now, so far down, I had to jog my way up. I jog, I come up. And then one man meets me in a white coat. He's with the security people. He asked me, have you been to anywhere outside the country? I said, no. He said, have you been in contact with anybody who has COVID? I said, no. Checks my temperature, it's 36. And he explained my temperature to me. <laughs> have you seen the security men at the mosque? <laughs> they will just shoot you, <laughs> and smile. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so who whether you die, whether you live, they have shot you. Mm. I met one overly enthusiastic one. He shot me. He said, Hey, hey, my boy, come to a room. Said, Dude, the fuck, man. He explained to me. Then I entered this booth. The, 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 the sanitizer booth sprayed me with all sanitizer. Came out feeling like a virgin. <laughs> Unlike the ones at the mall, the, the, the sanitizer fats into your. <laughs> It's crazy. Then I come out of the booth, they give me my nose mask. Now let's talk about nose mask. Now when you wear it, people see it like at what show. Hey, you know, I'm going to COVID now. I'm going to COVID. 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 But this nose mask, when they go, I, I'm not going to stop wearing nose mask. Because Ghanaians are hypocrites. Ever been in the conversation with somebody, right? <laughs> and then accidentally, not intentionally, accidentally, saliva from the person's mouth <laughs> comes <laughs> and lands on your lower lip. You know it's there. They also know it's there. But you both pretend like there's nothing. And keep talking, ah, sound. Mm. You're just waiting for it to say, mm. It gets worse. It gets worse when you wait for so long a time. The nose mask, when you wait for so long a time, you forget yourself that you're wearing a nose mask. Yeah. Happened to family. He was doing that, some cooking show, and then he wanted to eat. He tied the, uh, the spoon to his face shield. You remember? Yeah, I was in the church with one guy. You know those people who usually spit outside the window? You see where the joke is going, right? This guy started it like an engine. <laughs> Everybody in the church was expectant of something. Something big was coming. He went. <laughs> and so we knew the impending damage. But he forgot he had his nose mask on. And then he went. Bleh! Have you spotted you can't find a space before? He said, hey, I went, I went, I went, hey. He felt the delivery. He didn't see the landing. He saw the plane take off. There was no arrival. He sent the message. There was no blue tick. I said, hey, when he said the manum. They made look at him and said, boss, too. When they're running back to send that. <laughs> ah, I'm killing this shit. Oh, my niggas. <laughs> but it's good. Uh, these situations made me realize that you need to en enter proper functions. Because when I got to this place, they gave me a contact person. And this person will come and he, you know, he, he tells me everything I need to know. Um, boss, if you need something, just talk to me. If you need water, just talk to me. Any announcement he brings to me. He is the only person I was in contact with. Have you been to these normal ones? Everybody's a contact person. <laughs> You'll be emceeing somebody come, boss, pacho, pacho, and kwala ent nasi, and kwala sorry for your kumyan so. Yes, I announcement in my. I said, pacho, and kwala ni na, and sorry, na a penny for ent nasi. And then one of the kids' parents come, pacho, pacho, kwala ne wo asma ne die, omont nasi. Pacho, wo asma na ya kwala di at nasi. Another parent come. Pacho malaria and kwala for ent so. Malaria for so and the one person who is so pissed comes and takes the mic. 
Hello, mais pas ça quoi non, monte tant dans un pied. What's happening at this event? And I get to this event, they had a DJ. The DJ didn't have any console. The DJ, I think if maybe some of you know his name is DJ iPhone. That guy DJs with an iPhone. He'll be mingling with the crowd. Chuk, 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 chuk. If you get a woman who I'm tied to, chuk, chuk, chuk. he'll be just mixing stuff. Like, hmm. Don't take this to a Ghanaian funeral. They judge the DJ. Ah, maybe I'm DJ. They judge the DJ by how many wires he comes to the event with. He comes with wires that can wire the whole of Kaswa to Mataheko. And sometimes when your microphone messes up, he goes like, Pacho, Pacho, my mission. And then he gets to his console. Ah, and yeah, no one. And my favorite thing I saw at this event was the photographers. Oh, they did their job so good. And I don't know what it is with photographers, but like they wait. Like they know they are going to take your picture, and you know, you can see them from the corner of your eye. Like this is a comedy show, you are laughing. So you see them coming to take, you hold your laughter. And they wait for your face to Jimmy. You're like, ah, then they take. And is it just me? Is it just me? Or when you take a picture and it's a group picture and you don't look good, the whole picture is not nice. Right? And your family in travel from. But when you look, you say, oh, yeah, you have a filter being fast. <laughs> but this, that's this thing I've observed when it comes to photography and snapping. You see a lady very busy typing an assignment. She's late. She has to type it on her phone and her, on, I mean, on her laptop and her other friend is snapping. She's serious here, typing and her friend's phone falls and her and says, Adra, the, that guy who was serious said, The moment a camera falls on the lady, her slave queen comes. I she can be crying, oh, mommy, oh, oh. I just. <laughs> Even happens with guys. You see, a guy will be seriously doing an assignment, his friends put it, say, yeah, motherfucker, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> AMG, a man for business, yes, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be tense. Oh, boy. <laughs> now, let's talk about this. This, this is an observation. Parents who post their kids on Facebook, their kids' pictures, when they post the pictures, you see they cover their faces with stickers. Well, I want to understand why they do that. Apparently, witches. They are guiding the kids' faces from witches. How about their arms and their legs? <laughs> Have you thought of it? Have you heard of Achilles heels? That guy's system, his whole body was impenetrable. His mother held him by the heels and soaked him in water, Achilles. But when they brought him out, some of the water didn't touch his ankle, his heels. And so that was what killed him. And to me, I'm going to attack it. 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 It's all right. That's, that's a bad joke. I shouldn't, I shouldn't do a joke like that. And so I'm at this event. I'm enjoying the MC. Rich people, when you tell jokes, they try to help you with your joke. I said a joke about how footballers like they, they don't they lie about their age. Tai Taiwo was celebrating his 25th birthday, and his other twin was celebrating his 34th birthday. <laughs> no, they were twins. And then one woman said, Hey, I'm poor. Come for another joke. Yeah, there's one man too at my office. So. <laughs> <laughs> Rich people are so cool. Yeah, like, like my boss here, <laughs> Mr. Razak. Hey, this man has helped me. Please give it up for him. He, he actually helped me with this whole financing of this whole program. God bless you so much. That's why they buy VVIP. One person will be They sit in front and they see you 3D. Regular. Regular will sit at the back and survey her. Oh, be a we are going to 
So I'm emceeing this event, and my contact person brings me a paper. He says, Obi, um, can you make this announcement? Catch it if I crown song, Kwan Ekano. Nah, Obi, they're boom. But men can't. And when they're catching so on Kwan in person, I'm very chaotic. I'm saying, oh, no problem. So I take the paper, I'm saying, oh, Obi, they're boom. But men can't see this here. Catch one, Mose. If I crown them, Kwan Ekano, I'm going to say, okay. I'm about to mention the car number, I look, and it's mine. I'm saying, now so will be the idea. He said, see, Monsieur will be the boom. What can I say? I'm going to say, oh, dear. And you'll be the boom. Now, I have to go. Uh, you see where I parked my car? This man found a way to crash my car there. I go and there's this drunk man. So drunk. But he had money. And he kept repeating himself, oh, be. Nothing with money, no go fit do. Nothing with money, no go fit do. I said, why do you care? He said, money, no, nothing. Money, no go fit do. And that reminded me of my friend, Skido. He said, drunk guy. He couldn't come for my show. And so he came to me, he sees me at a place, says, OB, OB, your show, now won't come home. But I call Bossu, we Bossu no pig. We are called Steve O, Steve O to no pig. But later we are called Fear God, we Fear God pig. I tell fear God, say, make it try call Steve-O. It will call Steve-O, Steve-O to no pick again. So it'll be later where Steve-O call. Wait, tell him, say, the phone day, you woman in there. That's why you know if you come your show, oh, be. I said, oh, cool, Skido is fine. I go to the washroom, I'm peeing. And you know, usually when you are peeing in the washroom as a guy, you focus on yourself to avoid intimidation. But sometimes you see something like, ah, I didn't cry then. And so I focus, I'm peeing, I'm singing some song. <laughs> and then somebody comes to pee by me. Now this person, his pee, he had the Nike penis. You see the Nike? You know the Nike penis? As a chiakaka. And so while he was peeing, his pee was coming into my bowl. I said, my guy, said, oh, sorry, sorry. I said, I looked up and he was kiddo. He tweeted something. He said, oh, be, oh, be. Your show. I won't come home. But I call boss, we boss, no pig. We are called Steve-O. Steve-O too, no pig. Later, we are called Fear God. We are telling us, make a try call Steve-O. If Steve-O go pig. Still, Steve-O no pig. So it be later where Steve-O call me. Where he say, then phone day you mind there. That's why we know if you come your show. As I they tell you right now, this guy has been, ah, Bridget, what is this? What name is this? Is this Kido? I'm coming. Hello? Obi. Ah. Obi. Kido, I they, they do show. Obi, I make sorry. Wow. What's up? What's up? What's up? I know, I know. Skido, at this stage, Skido. Yeah, yeah. So I call boss. Where <laughs> boss is going to be? Ah, they listen. Everybody here, they listen. Steve, what do you know? Where I call fear God. The people I tell them, say, make it try call Steve. Ah. By that time, to that time go. Yeah. That's why you know fit. Okay, okay, okay Skido, no problem. So, yes, yeah, but then let's show you go come, Abby. Hey, that's so true. I don't think come. What? <laughs> hey, Skido, it's okay. Please give that for my boy, Skido. <laughs> so, people are telling me, ah, I will be report this cast then to the police. I said, nah. I stay at Kaswa Liberia camp. I know Ghana police. That is BD before Dampare. Before Dampare, I know Ghana police. See, one friend of mine had his laptop and everything stolen from him. And so he had to report it 
to the police. While he was reporting it to the Liberia camp police, one guy in the cells shouted, Hey! <laughs> and then there's the policeman said, mm, <laughs> See, I think we need to work on our systems. For me, anytime I see maybe an ambulance come to pass, you know, like I say a prayer for whoever is in the ambulance to say, Oh, may God help the person in distress. It's just a silent prayer. Because I feel like I could be in that situation anytime soon. So there's this time, I'm in the traffic, Kaswa, of course, traffic, and then the ambulance is coming. I hear the real, real, real. Funny enough, Ghanaians think that when you hear an ambulance, they are going to eat. And so the drivers take out their heads from the car and do like this fly, fly over. <laughs> but this time we all packed, and then the ambulance came to pass. I said the prayer. While it was going, I saw another entourage coming. And this time it was a big man's convoy. You know what happened? The ambulance packed <laughs> to make way for the big man's convoy. That's terrible. It's just like you have a heart surgery. Somebody, the, the, the surgeon is attending to you, and all of a sudden Moesha walks in there. I want to do my botoso. <laughs> and the surgeon leaves you to go and attend to Moesha's botoso. You're like, yo, my heart, man. You're breaking my heart, literally. What are you doing? It's terrible. Like, I was in the traffic one other time. Of course, Kaswa traffic, always. And I hear the fire truck, crisp, you know, the fire truck siren come, boom, 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 and we all open space for the fire truck. And I said the prayer again. But this time, this was the prayer I said, God, I hope they have water. <laughs> because we've had scenarios in this country, right? Where the fire truck gets to the scene, and they say, hey, they're above. Yeah, I walked into the washing bay one day, the guy said, boss, water no deal, but if you do something, what you go do? I hated it. It's just like, you know, if I track reporting to a scene without water, it's like me going on Tinder. Finding a hookup girl. She comes home and she has no vagina. Yeah, and you did that. It's just like you need somebody to work on your house's POP, you know, and the person comes and he's not an airway man. You know, let's move on. Let's, let's move on. I don't want to. <laughs> so my car is at the mechanic. I'm working on my car and, you know, I have to take the trotro. It's terrible in the trotro. Especially when you are popular. People see you. Hmm. They take out their phones, watch your video, and watch your face. <laughs> they watch your video and say, huh? Obi, Obi. You say, yeah, what's that? We could do anything. <laughs> so, but you don't get a car. I get a car. Oh, by them. So, make you not know, explain. You don't get a car. Obi. <laughs> you just do social media, they give you pressure. Hmm. You go call in French. I, I, I see Obi for you. You don't get a car, you don't get a car. <laughs> it's crazy in the church. Like there was this time where we are in the church and this this man stands. He says, Abosum, Munya Bosonzum, Munya Bosonzum, Munya Bosonzum, and then one guy gets a question, also from my voice in my phone. Hello? Yeah, my lamb to come. I may come call you here. I drive an Oshello. Mate no social also then. You can answer then. Hey driver, messy, messy. He alighted. And all of us in the church will join, including the Osofo. It's Osofo because I mean, I'm a queen. You see, maybe some Kofobia join one on Thursday. And yet, then I mean, there was a reason why people see you in the church. They feel like they can pay for you. Yo, I can pay. Make an answer. And so in the church one day, I hear, I take out my money from Madam to Kaswa. I take out my money to give them. They say, Oh, be a chiamo. I turn, there's this guy smiling at me and his kid. They say, oh, B, oh, B. You're sure? Now won't come on. But I call Bossu. Hey, Bossu, no pig. We are called Stivo. Stivo too? No pig. Maybe later we are called who? Fear God. <laughs> Fear God too. I say, make it call Stivo. To he say, call Stivo. Stivo, no pig. Oh, B. Oh, B. Maybe later we Stivo call, we say, they phone day, you mind there. 
That boy, I know if he can match. But you guys came for my show, and I appreciate it so much. My name is Obi Ponsa, and you helped me make history in Ghana. God bless you, and God bless the future of GH Comedy. I love you so much, and I appreciate you.